we've been tracking for you this evening. Impact investment company Avishkar Capital has closed its sixth India fund at a corpus of $150 million, 50% higher than its predecessor funds. Now, the fund will back early stage businesses and growth companies in India and hopes to make eight investments by March 2024. To talk more on this, joining me now is Vineet Rai, the founder of Avishkar Group and the managing partner at Avishkar Capital. Vineet, welcome back to Startup Street. Now, Avishkar's sixth fund is largely focused on scaling up impactful businesses. So tell us how you plan to help companies transition to a stage where they can get private equity or funding or go in for an IPO. Also, who are the key investors in this fund? Thank you. Thank you, Shruti, for having me on the show. And uh, well, uh, first, uh, raising a fund during challenging times is always, uh, always a good thing. I always say it's a relief that you raised a fund. Uh, one of the key things that Avishkar has done, and not many people know about it, is that we have actually participated, four of the companies that we actually participated as founding investors have done IPOs, and that's a skill that we have learned over a period of time. Utkarsh Small Finance Bank was the latest that uh, we were participating from zero till IPO. Now, that's a part that we had not highlighted enough, uh, and that's why... Uh, we thought, why not actually make it as a strategy and not just do it selectively or happen, see it happen coincidentally. And that's the reason why we actually uh, made it part of the core strategy of the fund. Uh, impact is core to everything we do, but what we have learned over a period of time is uh, technology is going to play a fairly significant role if we want to deliver impact and create significant scale. Sure. And so when we went to our LPs, and our LPs include IFC, British International Investment, uh, but more importantly, two of the biggest uh, fund of funds that Government of India has launched, SRI Fund and SIDBI Fund of Fund. Okay. Uh, there, are, uh, there are some Japanese investors and so there are some other jurisdictions as well. Hmm. But largely, these are the core investors around which we have built the fund. And uh, we are trying to use our skills of last 20 years, uh, given okay. that we are one of the oldest India fund as well, uh, gives us a lot of experience to use in okay. scaling and building companies. All right, Vineet, like I mentioned earlier, you plan to make eight investments by March next year, deploying over 30% of the $150 million corpus. Uh, you've already invested, I believe, in a couple of startups, if you could throw some light on that. And what areas are you looking at and what is the ticket size of the investments? So we have made four investments till now and we have approved four more investments, which hopefully uh, with some regulatory approvals, etc., by March should make our portfolio reach eight investments. Uh, the four investments that we have made are in, uh, we have the first one was in EdTech, uh, the second one is in AgriTech, the third one is a Dairy Tech, and the fourth one, which is interesting and a slight deviation from what we normally do, uh, and also highlights the current status, climate and COP28 is going on, so we've done a climate tech investment as well. These are the four investments we okay. have already made. And the four investments that we are looking to do includes uh, something, uh, one company which is focused on livelihood, the other is actually focused in uh, uh, insurance manufacturing, hmm. uh, and then two are in financial services. Okay. Vinit, you also claim that Avishkar India Fund 6 is the first 2x flagship fund in Asia, which means it will apply gender-based metrics to its investment strategy. If you could elaborate on this and also tell us how many of your investments will be 2x eligible. So uh, let me start by saying what is 2x eligible yeah. for us. Uh, so out of the four, two are actually, so 50% of our portfolio already meets the 2x criteria. Uh, but interestingly, the next four are all, they all four meet actually the 2x criteria, which means by the time we finish eight investments, six out of eight would actually meet 2x criteria. Now what is 2x? Uh, generally 2x actually means that you are, you as a fund, take it upon yourself to not only do gender-based uh, metric to investing, but will be evaluated against it also. And this is a certification that largely comes from LPs. Uh, so just okay. to give you an idea, uh, uh, fund, so basically a company, if it is owned by a woman, hmm. more than 50%, or it has a significant amount of leadership coming from more than 30% coming from women, or it is actually uh, a massively employment generation from women's side, or it is designing a product okay. which is totally consumed by women. Those are some of the criteria sure. that you... 
All right, you know, very quickly, I want to ask uh, my final question. Avishkar Capital, you know, currently manages over $530 million worth of assets across eight funds, six India funds and two international funds that include an Asia and Africa focused ESG vehicle, which you plan to close by 2024. So first, if you could elaborate on that and what is the impact you're hoping to create. And second, Vineet, if you're, you're also now looking to launch a carbon fund for Asia, if you could tell us the corpus size and how soon do you plan to launch? Yeah, so I think uh, the world is a very dynamic place, Shruti. So we continue to be quite dynamic in what we are doing. Our international fund is actually uh, targeted to be around 120 million. We are right now around 55 million dollar committed. We are also launching an Indian credit strategy, which is extension of uh, what we are doing right now in Southeast Asia and Africa. We want to do it in India as well. Uh, and in terms of our uh, uh, our climate strategy, we have actually incorporated the climate part both in the current fund, which is largely focused on the climate tech side. But we have been looking at the natural resource-based biosequestration, which is essentially uh, helping people coming from lower income strata to, uh, to grow trees and utilize the carbon sequestered by the trees to trade into the carbon credits, global voluntary carbon credit market. Uh, the idea is if, so there are two okay. uh, two things that we are considering. One is actually to raise a fund. The other is actually to uh, become a mm -hmm. manager of a permanent capital vehicle. And okay. that discussion is still in, in early stages. Let me put it this way. All right, Vineet. Unfortunately, we'll have to wrap up. But many thanks for joining us on Startup Street and wish you the very best for your sixth fund. Thank you so much. Okay.